Hey everybody. Um, so it has been, let's see, I had my surgery on the 15th, which was um, a Thursday. It is now Tuesday, um, the, I believe, 21st or 22nd. Uh, regardless, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days have basically gone by. Um, I didn't really uh, videotape anything before that, but um, I still have, uh, if you can see, my cast, um, the Robert Jones dressing rather. Um, I will have it removed next Monday. So it's been a little bit longer than I anticipated having this Robert Jones dressing. But um, so as far as the surgery went well, it was a success. Doctor said that he removed a couple of um, heel spurs. One in particular was the size of his thumbnail. So it was pretty significant. I came home that day, you know, I had the block. The block lasted for about 24 hours, which was really, uh, it was really great. I would highly recommend anyone who's going to have Achilles surgery or um, heel spur surgery removal, definitely ask for the block. Um, it's not something that they always do. Have them hit you up with the block and make it last as long as possible. That helps with the pain. The um, block wore off probably less about 24 hours so it lasted about uh, Friday night is when it started I started gaining regaining feeling in my toes being able to move my toes so as soon as that happened I felt the, bl the block wearing off I went ahead and also started taking the pain medication the hydrocodone and muscle relaxers so I took those just to help you know my my mother-in-law's a nurse and she was a nurse for 25 years and she said don't wait for the pain to hit go ahead and take those um, pain medications before the pain starts. Otherwise, it can be really excruciating. So I did that, and I would say probably maybe by Saturday, by Saturday, um, I was very little pain. I mean, I could tell I had some incision because it, it would – feel kind of a little bit of an itch down there like when you have a um a cut and it kind of gets itchy and it really the the reality is that your, the body is healing and um, sometimes that that wound is itchy but other than that there was no real pain so i quit taking my hydrocodone um, i did take muscle relaxers at night uh, to go to sleep and the reason why is this so you can imagine having your foot in one place for hours if not days at a time uh, the doctor warned that you would probably have some cramping, some muscle spasms. Well, the muscle relaxers help with that. So I took muscle relaxers each night until last night, and it, it helped. Um, it helped dramatically. I mean, it was it was a, a great idea for me to take the muscle relaxers at night. I didn't take the the pain meds. Last night, I made the mistake of not taking the muscle relaxers, and in the middle of the night. I got a muscle cramp. I think it's because I started stretching. And when you stretch and you lift your arms up and you stretch like that, your calf muscle and your arm and your calf muscles and your leg kind of constrict and uh, pain shot up and it woke me up. And I don't know if it was a muscle cramp or what I did, but that pain was there for a couple hours. And so I think tonight I'll probably take the muscle relaxer so it won't happen again. The only problem is when you wake up in the morning with the muscle relaxers, I kind of feel a little groggy. But I'm going to take them. Other than that, I um, have had no pain right now. It's just, a, it's just really the issue of getting around. Um, I've got a scooter. Definitely recommend getting one of those. I got a scooter from Facebook Market, or you can go on Craigslist. This particular one that I have sold for $200. I got it on Craigslist. No, not Craigslist. I got it from the Facebook Market. I got it for $40. Bucks. And it works like a charm. I've got crutches. The crutches kind of, I, you know, they work. I've got a pretty strong upper body, but, you know, your, your muscles get tired. With this, you can rest your leg a little bit so the blood doesn't, you know, continuously uh, flow to your leg. With this, you can, with the, with the cart, you can prop your leg up and it gives you a little bit of relaxing because you can rest on the knee. So definitely recommend both. Don't go with just one, do both. It makes it a lot easier. The cart is hard to get in and out of the shower, so that's when I use 
the crutches. So use both. Make your life a little bit easier. I mean, you're going to sit here. My lower back has been an issue um, because if you can imagine, you're sitting there on a couch or in the bed. I can't tell you how many movies I've watched on Netflix or on the Internet. So I'm, I'm just tired. I'm stir crazy of just sitting around. But um, I'm, I'm a guy that likes to move around, like, like to work out every day, play sports. So we'll see what happens. I'm anxious to get this Robert Jones dressing done with and maybe a, a hopefully not a cast, but an air boot so I can go ahead and move my foot. I just want to move my foot so bad. It hasn't itched, which is nice, but it's I'm just getting to a point where I'm ready to be able to, to move it. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else to report. So everything went really well. Uh, the I guess the point number one of this whole thing is take your meds, take your pain medication. Um, even if you feel a little groggy, it's better than having actual pain. And hopefully within the next three or four days after your surgery, you won't have any pain. But it's better to bypass all that by taking your pain medications. So other than that, so far so good. I think I'll report next time midweek and um, may not have anything else to report. But other than that, so far so good. Um, if anyone is deciding or, or thinking about doing um, the... Uh, heel spur surgery. Uh, so far, so good. I think I'd recommend it, but I maybe won't be saying that <laughs> about two months from now. So um, thanks for watching, and I uh, will talk to you soon.